I want I want to play a couple of clips from a show. It's a show that's on. I believe it's called like the Locked and Loaded. Locked gun show. and Loaded. Okay. It's called Locked and Loaded, and um, this is a, a show. I guess it's a I don't know promoting guns, and on this episode they're checking out the cricket rifle. For four-year-olds, let's listen to the first clip of this. Hi there, you are watching Lock and Load. I'm your host, Brandy Vega. If you like what you see here, please tell your friends. Also, leave a comment. Let us know what gun you'd like to see featured. Today's episode is all about youth rifles. <laughs> giving guns to kids. This is a small gun. Clark, we might get some feedback. We might. We might get some feedback about giving a child a gun. However, under proper supervision, under the right circumstances, it's totally appropriate. When is a good age to give a kid their first gun? Now, as a parent, you're gonna know. And what are the main, main safety rules? If you can give one or two things, what is Muzzle it? direction, trigger finger. Teach your child that don't let that muzzle point at or cover anything you don't want a hole in. And a little kid can understand that. And then teach them where to put their trigger finger. Keep it off of the trigger until they're ready to shoot. What is the first gun a parent should give their kid? Well, I mean, that's up to them. A lot of people think BB, BB guns or pellet guns. However, you get into a complacency with them because they are dangerous. Um, and so I chose a 22. Okay, there's three things here I want to point out before we do the <laughs> second one. One is, apparently, according to this guy, as a parent, you're going to know the age that your child should have a gun. I want people to keep that in mind when they think about the, what we're going to hear in the next clip in that same show. As a parent, you're going to know. Now, apparently, um, Stephanie Sparks, the parent of this uh, five-year-old who shot his two-year-old daughter, uh, sister, she didn't quite know. So we and should keep that in mind. The other two parents, things about safety, this is the two most important things for safety when you're talking about kids and guns. Apparently, it's muzzle direction and trigger finger. Not, don't let the kids use the guns when you're not there. Lock them up. Not to have some other type of safety features. It's just that when they're ha playing around with a gun, just tell them not to point it at somebody. Right. And then he claims that kids are going to understand this. That if you pull the gun and they shoot them, uh, that it's going to put a hole. And the kids are going to understand this, according of to this they guy. Do. They yeah, of course of they know. Except for the, the woman who is interviewing him as she explains... Literally two minutes later in this same show. Um, and I think uh, I think you're right. I don't think we're growing up in that same type of a, uh, a gun friendly, if you will, mm -hmm. almost a gun taboo type culture now. Right. And we spoke about safety and I wanted to share a really quick story. Not a very good one. If you have guns in your home, you do have to be very careful. As a child, six years old, my mom had a gun. She thought it was hidden. It was loaded. It was hidden under a mattress. I knew about it. We were alone one day. My sister made me mad. I found that gun. I chased her around the house with a loaded gun at six years old, not really knowing the consequences. And so even though we talked to the kids, we need to make sure we're safe in keeping these guns locked up if you have them in your home because I could have easily tripped or pulled, and pulled the trigger and it could have been devastating. So that's my little um, don't do this one at home story. Yeah, yeah. even though, and, and I, well, sisters, you know, I mean, sisters, I've seen some, some, some things that wow. rival the Iraq war <laughs> with sisters, but this is a deadly weapon. This is a dangerous weapon and a deadly weapon. That needs to be emphasized. But it's also everything. fun and it's a good exactly. family bonding and it's good to learn the fundamentals when you're young because then you cut, can carry cut, that with cut, you. Cut it, cut it. All right, did, did people understand what just happened here? This woman who was doing this thing just told a story of when she was six, she had no concept of what she was doing when she was holding this gun. She was chasing her sister around, could have easily pulled that trigger, could have accidentally pulled the trigger, and killed her sister. And she's right. sitting here promoting this stuff? How low and despicable or stupid do you have to be? And then this dude who is shocked that she has told this story to him, is like, well, sisters, they're yeah, like meow. Iraq. You know, like, because it's just those girls and that stupid stuff they do. Are you kidding me? This is just, like, that woman, first of all, I hope she got paid millions and millions of dollars. I hope she's swimming in money and she can't breathe. There's so many dollar bills in her mouth because, uh, God forbid, her kid ever gets killed by a gun in that situation. And she realizes, oh, I guess I didn't learn the lesson. I mean, that's just stunning to me. The, the, the complete, I mean, it, this is a religion. 
to these people. This is a religion to these people. That's right. And they well, do know, not care. Jam, and it involves human sacrifice, and they do not care. 